Hello again, it's me, Basic Unboxing 101. It's time to do a unboxing of the Tim Koo player, a Bluetooth music player with a touchscreen. Uh, it said on the website uh, or marketing for Amazon 4.6 inches though, but I think it's a little off. But uh, yeah, so I just got this today. Uh, plan to use this for my jog to work or riding to work with, anyways. Maybe a little good replacement for a phone while I uh, uh, go around from my factory from uh, one place to the other. You know, e either to glance at the time or listen to music or watch a video or something. But yeah, the uh, the, the Tim Q music player comes with an ebook format reader, compatible videos, um, compatible audios. You, you see all those right there. But really surprised me is this right here, Type-C charging. I've never seen an MP3 player before with Type-C. Now, I know most of y'all would say, well, it's just like a phone. Well, technically it is, but it isn't. And the reason why I say that is because of the touchscreen interface. And its, its capabilities are similar to that of a smartphone, but without the calling and texting capability. But yeah, it, it's said on the website, I think, like 8 to 10 hours, but... uh. But you see it right here, it says lab data. But, uh, yeah. So, let me go ahead and unbox this little baby. And, uh, let's see if we, uh, we can get something going. If I can get it out. There we go. Got it. Alright. Yeah. Nothing in there. Obviously, I got the black one. Ooh, that's small. So, we'll save this for right there. See what, uh, what it comes with. So, uh, standard packaging, obviously. Uh, a Type-C to USB-A cable. A uh, pair of wired earphones. And some ear tips, as you can see. All black. Very discreet. A uh, oh, now this is a new one I've never seen before. This actually, huh? This looks like a link up between micro USB and USB C for its use. I have no clue, maybe to link to an adapter, maybe you know, like uh, whatever the case may be is to charge it up or to transfer data or something. But this is a uh, yeah, this is a first. I've never seen anything like that before. A little odd. Comes with a a clear silicon case. It'd be perfect for work. Let's see. I'm assuming the uh, this is for the uh, the screen protector, which is really nice of them. Out by the way, I. I I've never seen a music player come with a screen protector. <laughs> this is a, uh, it's a first. Yeah. And, uh, your standard hello manual for, uh, for the, uh, Tim Koo player. And it looks like it comes with a built-in fingerprint reader, maybe? I don't know. So you got your volumes on the side, volume rocker, your power, uh, your uh, SD card slot, I'm assuming micro, Type-C charging, uh, your speaker grill, and your headphone jack. I again, this feels more like a phone, like a small one. You know, like how the iPhone 4 was small. And then you got the, uh, the player itself. Wow. This thing is tiny. Like tiny, tiny. Oh, wait, do I get it up? Oh, I do get it upside down. Oh, snap. Well, okay. So, you can see Type C, headphone jack, your speaker grill, uh, your SD card slot. Yeah, that's micro. Uh, your volume rocker and your power. You know, you got the uh, 
plastic on the back take that off but uh yeah take that off there let's see if this thing comes charged shall we oh okay there we go yeah awesome yeah it's uh not bad on the viewing angles though not bad at all huh that is about half full date language advanced settings ketone I like that stopwatch power saving so maybe it don't it doesn't have a built-in fingerprint scanner <laughs> I was wishing for that I mean but for the price I paid yeah I mean guess not because it would be kind of hard to do that on the price point obviously uh, display screen brightness date time settings yeah you got your music obviously video player no file pictures no file obviously there ain't an SD card in there so it would be kind of useless comes with a calculator actually that's kind of cute that's uh I like the sound on it okay and you know you got your Bluetooth here You have to click it a few times, apparently. It's uh, all right. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It's uh, seems the finger placement for the touchscreen isn't multi-touch. But what I'm trying to say is, it seems the uh, when you're trying to click on one of the buttons, it would uh. Uh, it, it'll take it a few times just to read it. I don't know why, but yeah, kind of weird. Internal storage. It comes with a total of 7.31 gigabytes. So it's an eight gigabyte storage. So maybe you have to, yeah. So you, you gotta be careful with your finger on the uh, screen and we press it obviously. <laughs> In your e dictionary, huh? Kind of reminds me of one of those devices from uh, the late or mid 2000s that Wikipedia used to give out, or you could store new updates on uh, definitions and uh, articles that they've written. I thought it was pretty cool, but yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. It's cute. It's kind of solid, lightweight very very crisp screen i would say it's a 720p but but for its small four inch size uh for its four inch size it's uh i guess it's not too bad you know obviously it's going to have a, a regular hd screen but for the smaller size the, the pixels would be sharper denser more packed so there's really no need to up it and the uh battery yeah I'll, I'll test that out later on in a different review. But yeah, this concludes the uh, the review. And uh, before I sign out, I actually want to try testing the Type-C charging. See how that works. All right. All right. Clicky, clicky. Why don't you? Not recognize it? No. Huh, weird. Very weird. I wonder what's going on with the battery here. Yeah, I uh I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this re unboxing and review. And uh, I'm going to get back to y'all later. 
on uh, what's up with the charging on here. I'm using a PD power adapter from uh, Anchor. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll lend you all an update later on. This, is, uh, this concludes this review. This is basic unboxing 101, signing out. Have a good one.